All right, girls. So as I said, today the sunlight, the tree, and the dog. Yes, as per last lesson wishes. So kind of combining in one. So take your pencil, take your razor. We are starting with the sketch. Um, so my idea is that here we have something like a, like a field or like a, here will be like the grass. And we're gonna have a tree. Gonna have a tree somewhere here on the side with the long, so we can have maybe one or maybe two long branches. Yes, we do the tree kind of a bit cut it out because we, we're going to put a dog here. So then the dog like is big enough to paint. Then we do the tree. Let's say the tree is bigger, but it doesn't fit in all our Yeah, page, because then, yeah, so something like you know, maybe a bit more branches, can play around like how, yeah. So the tree is gonna be full of green leaves. So it's, we're creating light and uh, springy feeling. So we're gonna use lots of yellow at first, so somewhere maybe here in the middle, we're gonna have light, like light spot and the yellow going around. Then we, we're gonna do the, the tree and then lots of green, green leaves. Yeah, so maybe there are some bushes, something in back. Okay, background maybe we think in the end and the dog. So for example, we can have the dog sitting yeah, also maybe try to do the dog a bit bigger or so it's easy to paint. Yeah, um, maybe something like this. Yeah. So he's, the dog is sitting. And so maybe looking here a bit up, the dog, here is the eye. What are, Evie? Yeah, yeah. What were, what are at the side of the picture? Yeah. What, what, um, what did you draw on the side of the picture? So here, here is my tree. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now it's without the leaves. The leaves I'm gonna add later with the paint. And here I'm painting the dog. Yeah, it's, the dog is kind of sitting, looking maybe up, so maybe a bit bigger ear. So it's gonna be the dog. And I thought like for the springy feeling, we can give the dog a butterfly. Yeah, maybe. Like sitting on the nose, something like this. Yeah, and we can have maybe some Bushes on the background, very light. But the main task, task will be working with watercolors. So here maybe some grass. Yeah. Maybe if you have some other ideas that we can add to the painting, yeah, we can add. Yeah, of course, now the tree looks very, uh, let's say, plain. Yeah, but we don't put leaves with the, um, with pencil, it's not necessary. We're gonna make it green and springy straight with paints. It's more for like, yeah, for our composition. Yeah, and then you can choose the color of dog. Maybe you know some dog that you like and you wanna do the color. Now maybe just yeah, so take your time to the sketch, yeah, work on the dog. 
erase it if yeah the the proportions you don't like yeah then just erase correct Sanyana, do you like it or would you like to add something else? Um, you can also add a bird on the tree. tree. Ah, I like it. I like it. Actually, yes, yes, yes. Um, let me think. Um, let's maybe because i was planning to do the tree very very green very bushy so let's do it first and then we decide where the birds fits best mm -hmm. yeah so i like the idea about the bird we're gonna add it but then you can also do a flying bird in the sky exactly actually very good yeah so maybe the bird is not sitting the opposite then later we're gonna see how our watercolor is gonna turn out because you know the vertical is that's the advantage of them that sometimes you can't predict the acrylics yes where we put them that's where they stay but watercolors are floating and that's the the good part of them so sometimes we get some unexpected so then we see where we have some nice space left then we add the bird mm -hmm. yes if there's space, I don't think there's so much space, but you could also add a swing on the tree. <gasps> Ooh, the swings. Yeah, 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 yeah. But why not? Well, maybe let's try. I will try now to adhere. We'll see if it looks good. If it looks good, then we can, you can repeat. Yeah. I'm also, I'm also drawing a swing. Yeah, you see. But you also need to be, be careful how big you're doing it because of your dog. I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. Because, but yeah, we'll we'll try. So maybe if something, something. But we can also like in what the colors we can do the swing, maybe very lightly, and the dog a bit more, uh, like closer to us. So the swings are more. Kind of maybe joined with that. And then we can put the bird sitting on the swing, maybe. Yeah, also that. But I would do it um, later. Later, yes, I agree. So I'm just now trying so we all can see how it looks. Yes, and you can decide, yeah, maybe just the swing, no bird, or the opposite. Yeah, so we are the artists. So we are responsible for taking decision in our artwork. Yeah, so you decide which one is a um, good can idea. I, can I show the sketch? Oh, of course, of course. Let's, let's take a look. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, very nice. Like the bird, like the tree. Yeah, the swings. Cool. We can. Um, so one, one good tip before we start uh, working with the watercolors. So you already have your sketch. What's good to do? Take your eraser and lighten up a bit. It's like you erase, you, so you still have, you see your lines, but you just kind of make them a bit lighter. Yes, try it. So of course you, you still have the dog, you still have everything. You, you can see. just press a lot or else you won't see the lines again. Yeah, so with acrylics, it's okay. But what the colors, they are so gentle. They are so transparent. So then it's normal. I do it all the time when I work for what the colors. Then I use my pencil a lot because I want to get into the details. I raise, use pencil again. But then 
I just go on top. Oh. Yeah, so let's say, for example, yeah, here I have my pencil sketch and my paper, you can't even see it. So very, very likely. Yeah, my, my dog is not sitting, my dog is standing because it wants to catch the butterfly on. Oh, that's so nice idea, actually. <laughs> good, good, good. You see how many fun ideas we can get. Did you, are you drawing the painting from new Evie? No, 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 actually I have already here prepared my dog. So the same one I have here, just with pencil hardly see, but I'm adding these wings since we got this idea that I didn't have earlier. I think I don't want to start from you because I already taped the paper and the newspaper together, so I can't but even. No, 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 you don't have to start new. It's, um, I mean, we continue. It's just because I did it with the marker. Yeah, so you can see ah, it. Okay. And because if I do it with the pencil, then he, like here, you can't see it on the screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's and why. And you can also add a little extra on the other side where where the three and the dog are not there, something there maybe. Um, let's see, because sometimes it's good to have more like maybe the air, the space, yeah. But we're gonna see, maybe the bird is, is will be looking good there. So. But you can't um, can't you see the bird if you draw the sunset the background, mm -hmm. even if you draw the bird, you probably won't see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, but our background will be very light, so then later we can add it. Oh, then we just can add like blue on it, so see it. Maybe you can add the blue with acrylic. Hmm. Interesting idea. Could be. Yeah, but let's start it working, and then we see mm -hmm. how it goes. Um. So I suggest we take a little bit bigger brush. Because we're gonna do the, I'll okay. take even a bit bigger. Maybe I'll take this. Um, first, we're gonna take yellow with lots of water. So we're gonna, all our sky will be yellow. It will be yellow light. Yeah, so we're not gonna do the blue. We're gonna just create lots of yellow, very light. And then we're gonna have on top brown for the tree and lots of green green leaves and yeah can, shall we use a bud for the leaves um to use the what sorry for the leaves the a bud but what what is bud i mean um these things by also by pencil that you shade them with them sometimes aha uh -huh. oh i remember yeah the um, these cotton buds yes yeah. yes, yes. I, I would I would say no, because they are round. There may be, mm. you can use, if you want, go ahead, Sanyana, it's not prohibited, but I will I will use the brush, yeah? Okay. Um, because the leaves are, has different shape and then with brush, it may be easier. With bud, it's more like just circles, yeah? But let's start and we experiment on the way. So I take my brush, make it water and go into the yellow paint. And first I get here yellow paint. Okay, I'm starting to put the yellow paint on. Yeah, I have it watery. And let's say I'm not, I will not put yellow all the same. I will have like less yellow in the middle. So let's say here will be more lighter yellow. Yeah, well, but now we, maybe it will be very hard for you to see. Okay, I turn on the light. Maybe you can see a bit better. Yeah, so I'm covering background. Yeah, no, it's a bit. Okay, girls, then you have just to trust me on the word. I'm putting yellow because I imagine it's almost nothing visible. Yeah, okay, like this. Yeah, no, the same, but something. So, but I'm covering my paper with um, all over. I go all over the tree. I go also, but over the tree. Yes, because later I'm going to put 
green um, leaves and brown tree, it's all gonna cover very easily um, my yellow. So just kind of my yellow background. So we have this very warm, light uh, feeling, yes? Okay. And In then, the middle, you won't have so much yellow, right? So look, like here, now all this space of mine is now covered with yellow. Here, mm -hmm. I put it a bit more, I put it a bit more brighter. So then you can kind of, so all here around. Yeah. And oh, just oh. put the yellow everywhere, it doesn't matter where it's light or dark. Exactly, just everywhere. But like the bottom where the grass is, then I'm gonna do the green. But if you go there also with yellow, it's not a problem um, because actually green mixes very nicely with, with yellow, yeah? So mm -hmm. here, what I will do, I will put some green at the bottom and I will let also mix it a bit with, with my, so I'm, I take care of the dog, the dog, I don't put the green, but the rest, yeah, so here is my green. It's very yellowish green. Let me see which I can mix a bit more. There's some black stuff. Maybe it, I, I think it's going to come off after the painting. So, mm -hmm. my grass looks sort of like mint. Like, if I put out enough of it and like spread it around, uh huh. It'll more minty, so it looks really uh, nice. Yay, cool. What is also good, you can kind of blend out a bit the grass on the, like in the area of, of And sun. we also um, draw on top of the dog and accidentally the yellow. It's, I mean, it's okay because yellow is so light. So if you decide your dog is brown, it's going to be no problem. Yeah, I was about to use the brown for the dog. Yeah, it's okay. It's only if you say, oh, I want my dog to be white, then, you know, because in watercolors, white is the paper, yeah? Um, that's why in watercolors, we should plan much, much better um, where our light areas are, yeah? Okay, how did you get the green again? Oh, the green. I mean, I, I just took any green that I have oh, okay. and then I can mix it with some yellow, maybe to make it a bit lighter. Yeah, maybe can play. And you see that while you're mixing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I took one green, but it seemed to me too light and I added another, but yeah, it's... Um... So it's also today is the task to create springy feeling. So our uh -huh. our it's grass also kind of summary and between spring exactly exactly so it's already closer to the summer so it's not the early spring but it's already like the tree will be full of green leaves already and this yellow sunlight that we put yeah it's already warm so I need to mix up I'm still at the green. My grass looks like this. All right, let's see, let's see. Wow, very nice. Awesome. The yellow is actually as it looks like the Yes, yes, yes. Very good. I'm not done yet with the green. Yeah, we're waiting for you, we're waiting. Um, My grass is sort of white too. <laughs> And so I will just explain the next step, but I'm not painting yet. Yeah. So you, mm -hmm. Sanyana, you finish, but you can listen. So next one will be the tree. And here now we've used lots of water, but the tree, we're going to go with the dry brush. Yes, you already know it. We use it a lot in acrylics. 
it's a bit the same in watercolors. What's what the dry brush? Because when it's dry, it's not painting everywhere. It's kind of leaving one stroke. So somewhere it's painting, somewhere not. And we use it to show the texture of the tree. That's one point. And the second, we are not going to paint the, this vertical part of the tree and the branches complete. We're going to be leaving some empty areas where we want to put later green leaves. Yes. So we also plan because if we put all brown now, then it's kind of going to be hard to put green leaves on top. So okay. we. And so we should just leave some space at the end or wherever you want the leaves. Exactly. I'll, I'll, I'll go now so you see it. Yeah, but you understood the idea very, very right, correct? Do, do you have to do the dry brush or a wet brush? For the tree, we do the dry brush. So I take, of course, I, I make my brush a little bit wet, a little bit so I can, I can put some paint on it. Um, yeah, so here, here I prepare some brown on my palette. Which brown should I take for the three? I have two. Yeah, choose one which you like. Maybe I can use both of them. Also, mixing is very good. And look the trick that I do to have my brush dry. So now it's a bit wet. And with my paper towel, I just kind of little, very lightly, just take off some some water away like this. And now I can do strokes like this. Now there is no much water. Yes. So at the bottom of the tree, I can paint it complete because there are no leaves. But at the upper part, I will be leaving like maybe here in the middle. So here maybe just a little bit of tree i still not start the tree i'm just putting the paint on that's good i'm just going step ahead so you can imagine the task so you can then understand yeah i get it already like so yeah. you understand how it's supposed to look and everything yeah and then with the branch is the same somewhere i put the branch and somewhere not and the dry brush allows me to work very lightly. I can control more, yes, my steps and. Am I really also going to do the background correctly? Yes. So we already have the yellow background, but the rest is coming lots of green leaves, different shape, different size, different. Yeah. So you're going to see it now. It's going to look, should look nicely. Yeah. But we prepare first the tree. So we kind of have the, the base, the skeleton. And then on the tree, we're gonna put, yeah, here I'm gonna put my bench as well. I'm still not at the branches, I'm still at the trunk. Mm -hmm. Here maybe like where the swings are, I can put just kind of dots or lines. So it looks also lighter, the swings, yeah? So it's not like very thin or, or sort of thick line, but it's more like just some, some dotting. Yeah. Yes, it's also very, like to learn painting light, yeah, painting gentle. That's what watercolors are good for. 
Okay. I'm gonna show the um um after the train I'm gonna show how it turned out until there. Yeah, 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 of course. My um tree is not so curly. It's very kind of straight type, but I think at the edges, mm -hmm. I can use a thinner brush actually, but I need to check my tinder. I need to spill all of them. This is the tinnest brush I have. Uh -huh. I see, I see. Um yeah it's like also when you when you use the dry brush then it's easier to do the thin lines yeah it's a bit um i mean it depends of course if there is like one thin line that you have to do then we use this technique that i often explain that we have our brush wet but now with dry brush i can have like lots of thin lines Mm -hmm. so also don't overdo with the branches if you feel ready then just wait till we continue all together for uh for the leaves yeah Yes, for example, if you're done with the tree and you're still waiting, maybe you can do some touch-ups in the grass. Let's say where the tree is touching the, the grass, then it's good to make maybe a bit darker the grass, you know, kind of the some, a little bit just, so the tree doesn't look like too separate from, from the ground, we kind of integrate it a bit into into our um, field yeah mm -hmm. so let's say like this Um, I think I'm gonna, I just need to finish a little bit up and then. Good, good, good. Yeah, so again, you finish, I'll explain the next step. So we're gonna use um, green, but mixed with yellow. And actually we can mix two or even three different mixes and then continue using them in parallel. So then it's good, then our tree will be different. So let's say I can prepare one mix of green and then I can have one mix where I have green with uh, maybe yellow. So like lighter, darker, maybe medium. Um, and but yeah, but in general, it should be should be light color and like sunny. So remember again this springy sunshine feeling and um, yeah. So also maybe just mm -hmm, mm -hmm. something a bit closer to yellow also. Yeah, so here girls, you can say I have like three mixes. I have one a bit yellowish, more like uh, so lighter, some medium green, a bit darker. And then I'm gonna use all of them in parallel. Yes, then like this. My tree will look, yeah, I can also maybe prepare just clean yellow. I might also wanna use it. 
Okay. I'm mixing the colors right now. Good, good, yes. And now by creating the, um, all these green leaves on the tree. So again, use the um, options of the watercolors that they flow. Yes, yeah? so the tree, the, the brown part, we did very dry. And now the opposite, we're gonna let these different greens flow one into another, mix them in between, so. Um, one question, Evie. Yeah. Two, actually. I need to mix the green again. Mm -hmm. It's kind of turned out yellowish. And um, you could also, on the grass, add some flowers, maybe, but not too many. Oh, flower is a very good idea. Some maybe red accents or orangey in the end. Very nice. Very good idea. I think that would be a good color because it's going to... Um, it's very, very bright, and then you're also going to feel like it's very bright, the picture. Yes, red is good color. It's also the opposite color of green. And since we're going to have so much green, maybe the butterfly also can be red. Cool. For the, for the flowers, I'm going to use the bud. Yeah. You have very good ideas, Anya. All right, then starting with the, with the green part of tree. I already can't wait. Yeah, yeah me too. Thanks. All right, so... I take my brush and what I do, I just kind of sit the paint. So mm -hmm. I don't move like we did for the background, but I, and I move my hand around. I don't hold my brush in one direction. I move my hand around and I'm kind of sitting the spots and I change my mixes. So some, I go into my light mix, put some spots, and then I go back to my darker mix and then I put and somewhere I put the more together somewhere I put like little separate dots and if, if they mix in between that's very good and then those parts that I left empty in the tree then I can fill up yes with, with my green yeah, so I'm mixing right now all the colors because I last time not this yellowish color. Yeah, yeah. Take 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 your time. Work on your yeah. So I always go a bit ahead so you can see it. What what I mean? But of course, you don't have to rush. Yeah, take. But the main idea, remember, it should look light and sunny. So you can have maybe different, the, the leaves or something, but think of this, yeah? That the task is, yeah? Maybe somewhere I can have my brush just watery and just add some water drops. So then I let them a little bit float and mix in between. Yes, then just with the clean water, I add some drops. So then my dots that I did, some of them then kind of unite and combine and... How am I supposed to do the job just like this? Like the tree leaves? Yeah, so first, you're just sitting, yeah, you're kind of pointing with your brush, the leaves of different colors all around. So that's why we had different mixes prepared before. And then I, a parallel, once I take darker mix, the next time I take lighter one. And the technique is that sometimes I have my brush clean and just with the water, 
I also go in between the, the leaves. I think it's turned out, it's um, gonna turn out pretty good. Oh, very, very happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't think that there's any good or bad of the paintings because <laughs> you tried your best, actually. I think that one should be, let's say, honest with yourself. And because it's a little bit also skills. If you imagine one way, but it doesn't turn out, of course, you can always make the excuse, ah, that's the way I see it. But if you're honest with yourself, then you say, yes, I, I should practice a bit more. Maybe I paint the same painting again, and then it turns out more the way I like it. Yeah. So mm -hmm. of course, there is no good and bad in painting. Of course, it's very, um, yes, it's there is no correct answer, but the more important that we are honest with ourselves. So of course, our mom, they will tell it's beautiful and yes, but as long as we say, yeah. My like, mom always tells like by the octopus painting, I did all of them on the ground and not there. So <laughs> she told that, but um, it wasn't so bad because she just told it so I can do it next time better. Uh -huh. But she still said it was pretty. Oh. So it's also like the effort we put in it, yeah? Okay, girls. I'm not done yet. Yeah, 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 I've just missed. I think Juliet wanted to show. Can you go back, Julie? Mm. Oh, yeah, 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 I see. Very nice, Julie. You know what we're gonna do now? This, I think you're gonna like it. So now you worked a lot with paint, but now clean your brush. So then just in the water, I clean it and then I sit, I kind of make the borders floating a bit out to the, to the air, to the background. So just with the water, I touch my spots that I did. And like this, I make them floating. Yeah. And this can look, then you get these unpredictable parts because the water flows. And then you kind of get lucky how it goes. And that's what I like about watercolors. Sometimes we get the results. We don't expect ourselves. If, if somewhere a bit too much water, remember you can clean it with a yeah, paper towel. It's also nice taking out a bit and then kind of control how much, how much water I'm gonna have. So like the, the three I saw Julie was very nice, but just like experiment, try to make it a bit more floating out to the, yeah, it seems if the leaves are almost flying, they don't, don't have, they're not connected, but in art, it looks good. So maybe it's a little bit imagined, but this is like by art, we create a feeling. Yes, nowadays we don't need to create it as photograph because we all have phones and we can easily take. So art should be more like emotion and. Yeah. Yes, and maybe some part a bit more leaves again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm showing my painting right now. <gasps> I'm looking, looking. Thanks for telling me. Yay, I love it. I think the green is enough already. Yes, I also think the green is enough. And we can move to the dog. Is and the then... tree also okay? Your tree is amazing. Yeah, like it. I just couldn't do such too My brush was kind of spreading. I don't know how to tell. It's um, it's a bit, let's say, practicing or something. So I was just tapping with my brush. I mean, I can show, I think I can show what I mean. Door, I guess. 
And so, like, this is the brush right now. Uh huh. I see. And then it like gets much more to the side, and then it gets more thicker than a ah. princess. Ah, that's the fan brush you have. Yeah. yeah. But I have the other one, the thin one I used. It's not the one I use something else. Maybe next time I should use this brush because it doesn't spread. Mm, I see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I should also do a little more detail. Good. You see, this is what I like. As artist, you analyze and you say, "All right, this is my result now. Next time, maybe I try another brush." And this is how you get better. Yeah. This is mm -hmm. so very good. Um, what I do now? I go slowly to the dog, so you can also see and then decide how you want your dog to look like. So I will God, give, I know my dog I will give like. it maybe the black ear. Here is the, not sorry, not black, brown. So I'll make my dog like white and, and brown. I'm making my dog oh, the whole thing brown, maybe little touches, like a patch dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use my pencil. I think I want to um, use a very, very thin brush for this and draw the patches one second. Because mm -hmm. I don't want to do any mistake. And it's okay if my patches are a little yellow. You of can't course. really see it. Yeah, because the dogs are also yellow. That's. Yeah, I have a patch dog now. Yeah, awesome. I'm gonna copy draw. My my dog is gonna be dark brown. Mm hmm And a little cocoa too. Cocoa color. Yay. But one bad thing is that my swing is now connecting with the tail. Oh, that's no problem. It's good. Maybe he's even like moving the the swings with his tail. He's so happy to see the butterfly. He started to move his tail and the swings got moving. Why not? It can be the whole story. Does any one of you have, have a dog or animals? Or, um, no. I had four goldfishes ones. Oh. And uh, do you have any animal at home? Actually, no, also not. Yeah. Because I travel a lot, and then of course it's um, uh, then you can't have a pet. But I would like to have a dog very, very much. Yeah, like maybe later, if, you know, like later in life. Because dog, of course, it's lots of responsibility. It's like a child. Yeah. So you. Need and to how use... can you see the pens and linings of the dog if you use dark brown? Dark brown um well i used brown and just somewhere i did the outline for the like to have it some parts white i already drawed it and now you can't see the two legs anymore you can only think uh, <laughs> well my advice is let it dry because you also should remember the um, uh, the watercolors when they dry they become more pale. Draw now something else. Draw the butterfly, draw the ear of dog. So, and then when it's dry, you can then kind of put the darker line and then it will let, um, then you can see, let's say, okay, there are two, two legs. Huh? So. I'm not doing the patches anymore because they're a little hard to do. Okay. Yeah, for this maybe also depends what size brush you have. Um, shall I one second use black to make the eye, the nose, and everything? Yes, um, I've used just brown, but you can use also black. Just be careful so the black doesn't go too much. And yeah, I, I made just brown, it also looks, yeah, because my dog is the brown, the darker shade brown, so yeah, that's um, because. Black is, is very, should be used very carefully. 
Yeah, in watercolors, yeah. especially. And I, use, um, I don't think I'm, I'm going to put any water into the black because it's, then it's going to be a liquidy eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it should be, if you do the eye, it's like one dry brush dot, you know, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I I'll, hope you can still see the black. I'll try to put some flowers. Let's see how it works. My dog is, I think, ruined. If you put the flowers on the grass, remember the basic rule that we should, like, the flowers that are bigger, then they're, like, closer to us. And then if, if I make a small dot, it means the flower is away. Yeah, and then it's, so this is, yeah, I don't know. I think I don't like my flowers. I start putting them. I think I will try to. <laughs> so here with my paper towel till they wet, I try to just. Remove. This, my dog didn't turn out so, so good, but I can't do anything anymore. In this moment, the better is just let it dry, you know, and it's like the golden rule. Once you're painting, starts, the dog now. yeah, it's, it's looking black, but I still added the eye and everything. Okay. Okay, I, I have I've done a bit bad with the flowers. I didn't like them. So I try now to correct my grass with the... And is this good? Let me see, let me see. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, your dog is cutie. No, he's very cute. Love them. I like it more than mine. Mine is a bit, a bit like maybe from cartoon or something. I should make also maybe mine a bit. A bit we more. always have to have online classes. Uh huh. There. Um. I don't think that's so so bad. I I'm it's like not my thousand time to paint right now. Mm. My ninth time probably or something. Yeah. Before I always did free painting, so I didn't take classes. I just thought of my ideas and everything. Yeah. Good. It's good to do both. You work by yourself, and then sometimes you. Uh, so it's like the more you draw the better you get that's how it just it works and maybe we can also draw this painting again but not like next week maybe another time you can have it as a homework you can work on it by yourself let's say because you already have the what we did so you know what comes first what comes next but then and you just the the sketch of the dog was pretty good what I did, but then after I colored it to dark brown, kind of you couldn't really see it. Yes, that's um yeah, it happens. That's how like it means you just need to improve your technique using brush. So maybe you're already good with the um, with pencil. I'm gonna come in a second. I'm gonna get my bud and do the flowers. All right, do the flowers. My flowers didn't work out. I didn't like them. So I'm trying to kind of, <laughs> yeah, but um, go ahead. I'm trying now to think something to cover my flowers. Mm. All right, I will add the bird. The bird, the idea, I liked it. It's gonna be which color? Maybe something brown reddish. 
I made my bird blue. <gasps> oh, such a creative idea. Mm -hmm. oh. And then I have my... Let me see, let me see. Yay. It's back. This is... Oh. I got my idea from my dog, from my pound puppy, Spotty. Ellie mm -hmm. has a pound puppy named Spotty, so she makes the color for him. Oh. See how such a creative ideas you have, girls. Okay, my bird looks like a squirrel. <laughs> it's also a good idea maybe to do a square on a tree. Actually, yeah. Or maybe I'll do the square on the ground because I have ruined it with my flowers. So maybe I can have it another squirrel there. I don't think my flowers are the worst, but they're also not the best either, but they're still good. That's good, yeah. Yeah, with flowers, sometimes you kind of get lucky and sometimes not really. Yeah, my squirrel also, no. <laughs> okay. This painting looks, it's a very, very good idea to mix them all. Mm. Maybe. Mm. Um, I think my um, my flowers are pretty good. I might also add a squirrel maybe talking to it. <laughs> dog. But I don't know, really know how to draw a squirrel. Yeah, it's it should be it should look like just a spot, you know, like bigger spot, smaller spot for head and the tail. So it's so small. Don't try to to do the details. Um, the idea is kind of just imagine Maybe I should use my bud to do it <laughs> for example what you can do also a bit darker grass where the dog is sitting and where the tree because it's always the shadow there you know so maybe just I made a squirrel too. Only have to wait. well, it's more of a chipmunk because I because it has a big fluffy tail. But <laughs> I need to wait to try to add its pattern. Wow, nice! Look how our painting turned out. You know, in process means work in, in progress. So we work and we add add up ideas and. It's not the best squirrel ever, but it's either not the worst, worst <laughs> squirrel. It's like, squirrel, you're not the best, but you're also not the worst. Squirrel, like, whew, okay. <laughs> At least not the worst. Moving the nose, the eye. Okay, I feel I already started ruining my work, so I'm going to stop. Maybe also a bit the shadow from the swings could be a bit on the ground. <laughs> and under the dog a bit. I like to sing when I draw a lot sometimes. Mm. <laughs> That that means you enjoy the process because when the person is singing, means having a good time. This is how my painting is looking. Ah, nicely. Yeah. There you can see the whole view now. Hmm. Maybe you can add a bit more green on the left side of the tree, or you don't have space there. Ah, uh, yeah, right. You can't really see it on camera, but. I mean, I see you have a tape there, but maybe just a bit here on, like on the other side of the trunk. Otherwise, yeah, I get it, but the tape is supposed to be the frame, so I can uh, still do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe I should use this puffy, puffy brush. Wait, I can show myself. I can show the painting too. Yeah. No, oh, oh, your painting is lovely. I can. I kind of want to 
How did you put the screen, Evie? Screen? Yeah, the screen of what? And like on the big screen you're painting and on the side you. Yes, because I use, I have two cameras. Oh. So the camera that you see me is just like the laptop. So the camera that is built in the laptop and the camera that you see all these drawings. So you see my table is just hanging on top of my table. Uh, so it's like I have a shelf on top of my table and that's, and then I stick my camera there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. Work with me too, but only sideways. Yeah. All right, I'm going to take off my tape, otherwise, I feel it's getting ruined. You can see a little, but I don't really think I need the from the side, maybe. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm adding something, you won't see it. I think my painting is done. Yes, with watercolors, it's also more quickly, usually, you know? Yeah. And now I'm gonna add all the stuff I use in the water. I'm finished too, I added breadfruits. <gasps> oh, girls, that's such a good idea. You have red apples there. I know. Yeah, I'm gonna also red. What's called? Because I sort of just picked up. Well, I don't know what I should call them because like the dog is like the dog. And, oh no, one of the fruits is literally like going all over the page because oh, it's I wish watery. I could make coconuts, but it doesn't look like the right place to have the coconuts. <laughs> Ellie, so funny. Yeah, it's not a palm tree, but. But maybe next time we can do a palm tree. Mm, we are getting new ideas already for the next lesson. Good, good. Palm tree. Right. Who is living on the palm tree? A monkey. I had an idea um, to paint like for next week. But I had an idea for next week or next week. Um, but I did have an idea that it that we could paint like a bridge with cars on it. Because doing our done because when we were going to our dentist appointment, we were on mm -hmm. like a tall Pulaski side, the Pulaski Skyway, and we um, uh, we saw like a lower bridge and with a bunch of cars on it. Uh -huh. Wait a minute! I remember we have a painting somewhere of like a bridge of like two bridges, but like it's a reflection on water. It was really pretty, but I can't remember where Mama put them. Uh -huh, I'm interesting. In my place right now. So a bridge with reflection on the water. Well, it was sort of like a city on the, like yeah, like a bridge with the city, but it was more like reflection on water at a sunset. So like it was purple and blue at the bottom and red and orange. Wow, sounds interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all my fruits are getting all over the page. Uh, either use paper towel quickly to. To dry, take off some, yeah, yeah. water. Say it's it works and yeah, because it's sometimes think I really have so much water anymore in my painting. <laughs> I see Sanyana using lots of paper towel. Yeah. <laughs> yes. The whole is done. The whole is done. Cool. using. Oh, wow. Well. That is a whole roll. Mm. <laughs> now your mom will tell, oh, what I'm going to use for kitchen. No more paper towels. Like. <laughs> <laughs> She'll say, Sanyana, go to the shop. <laughs> I'm going to add a little more of the green to the grass, but I think it's a little too light, the grass. Yes, of course. Should You should correct some parts of green or of uh, tree that's like normal we it's especially also because remember when watercolors are drying they look different than when we um use acrylics um exactly because acrylics they almost don't change but watercolors they change a lot when they dry and okay. 
we put them very bright, we put them very nicely. And then you see the dry result and like, whoa, what's that? Where all the colors are gone? Uh, so I'm cleaning up my place right now. Good, good. Cleaning up is, is the part of our job. Yeah. Uh, Evie? Yes, Sanya. Um, we could also do um make sense. It's gonna be maybe hard. Uh huh. Also do. What do you think I'm gonna show right now? Yes, I'm watching. What do you think? Do a guess what I'm gonna show right now. Uh, a tree, a plant. No, no, no. Oh, a panda! Whoa! You mm -hmm. could try, but it might be also a little hard. But it's a little easier because there are no shadings. You can do bamboos and... <laughs> Your panda is very sweet. Yeah, let, let's think we can integrate panda maybe in some... Maybe we can paint a palm tree. No, pandas don't live in palm trees, do they? My panda just fell down. Now I got it up again. <laughs> I saw it. Yeah, it fell. It's like, oops, ouch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to clean up a little bit. You might not see me. I think you didn't even see me the whole time. I was cleaning, <laughs> good, 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 Sanyana. Yeah, the girls are also cleaning up. I will also start. So I don't need to clean up after the class. <laughs> yes. So I'll stop recording here because we are all cleaning up already, but we can still chat. Yeah, I want to chat 15 minutes because I don't have any class. Good.